Hey there, Matt Reed here from Perth Product Photography down in sunny Western Australia. Got another tip for you. And this one is about using the wrong lighting setup. And this was kind of discovered a few years ago and I've just kind of run with it. And it's really led to some interesting new lighting techniques and cool new kind of um, discoveries that I just wouldn't have found. And we kind of do a really broad range of photography and it was inspired by doing a food shoot. So we were shooting lots of food one day, food photography is typically fairly heavily backlit. And I thought, mm, interesting, we haven't really done a lot of backlighting with other products and portraits. In fact, we do a lot of kind of commercial business portraits. And so started kind of lighting a person's head like I would a pizza and that was pretty fascinating and it really led to kind of a different lighting setup it's just some inspiration basically and i kind of took the lighting from one shoot to the next shoot and um, it just helps add a little something to your bag of tricks to for when you're trying to make a snazzy photo now particularly for us as well we often might be shooting multiple different products in the studio you might be as well um, especially if you're at home and you're actually like just trying to build up a portfolio or just trying to practice with different products. Now here's the thing, like we start to get a bit of an idea about how a product should be lit. Like here's a wine bottle, it should be lit this kind of way. Here's a plate of food, it should be lit this kind of way. Here's a sneaker and this is how it should be lit. And typically what we found was you put the sneaker on the table, you kind of start with your, how you think it should be lit, and then you take the photo, refine the light, perfect. And then the next photo might be sneakers gone, bottle comes in, clearly not gonna light a bottle like a sneaker. So change the lighting setup, get the setup to a point where you think it should be a kind of a good place to start for a bottle, and then start from there. What we've started doing is whenever we've got a set set up or a light set up, it can be simple or it can be like massively complex. But when bringing in the new product, before automatically just changing things to how you think it should be set up, is taking a shot with the wrong setup, right? So literally might, there might be a bottle set up and then in comes another product. And you take the shot with the wrong setup and usually what happens, sometimes it might look crap and so clearly it's the wrong setup so change it up but often they'll it'll either surprise you and look actually really nice or there could be one particular little you know reflection that's caused by this light over here that you never would have put over there because that's you know you just wouldn't you do that for another type of shot it, you'd left it there you take the shot and it's kind of a cool little detail that then you keep that light in that position to create that effect and then start fixing the things that don't look so good. So you might find when you're changing products and changing setups, if you don't get too kind of predetermined about how it should be, you'll probably stumble across some pretty happy accidents and some really kind of nice lighting styles for different products that you shoot. And so again, it's not really a technique, it's just a way of working. Um, and it really, it just leads to kind of broadening your skill set or toolkit to know that what works to create cool different effects on your products. Hope that helps. Let us know if you've had any success there and any like weird wonderful curveballs on photo shoots that um, th that led to like a good outcome and yeah I'm really happy to hear from you. Jot a note in the comments and look forward to chatting to you. Talk soon. Bye.